Okay, guys, here I am again, Alec Pierce, Venti Scuba, with some more history of scuba. A lot of, a lot of the things about the history of scuba we need to record from the people who were there. I spoke to Sam Miller just very recently, and the stories he has about those first, that first decade in scuba in Southern California, unbelievable. Even I have to laugh my head off. Uh, Canadians mixed up in there and the things that were going on. But anyway, anyway, that's not what I want to talk about. I'm here to talk about, as a matter of fact, the Hope Page mouthpiece. Now, you recall just very recently, we, Gavin and I, did a video about, uh, about the first Aqualung. And that's what I called it. That's the video. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. I'm going to call it the first Aqualum because it was the first regulator that Aqualum made called Aqualum. So yeah, look it up. And one of the, uh, the one of the neat features about that regulator, which I can't show you because it's been sold. I told you I'm selling my stuff, and it's happening very quickly. Uh, all the regulators and the equipment I sell, most of it anyway, is virtually new, and so it's particularly desirable. Uh, it's, it's gone. That particular regulator that was in that video, look it up, had an original hose on it. The very first two hose regulators only had one hose. Yeah, there was one, one hose ran all the way around from the intake to your mouth and kept on going all the way around. One hose. It didn't break in the middle. There was no mouthpiece in the middle. Obviously, if there was no mouthpiece in the middle, other than the little pieces of rubber that stuck in your mouth, but there was no separate piece, no cuts in there, there was no non-return valves. What are non-return valves? They're the valves that keep the water from coming up into your mouth. When you take the rig out of your mouth, the hoses would fill up, and you'd have about a quart and a half of water you had to swallow. There was no purge button. So uh, early on, those, those one-piece hoses were a real nuisance. Well, a fellow by the name of Roy, pa Roy Page... And Charlie Hope, these two guys were, were, were buddies. They were both divers. Uh, Rory actually was a, uh, was a scuba instructor. Apparently, so Sam tells me anyway, he, he seemed to think he was in the oil business. But anyway, he was a scuba instructor. And Char Charlie was, a, was a, a pretty handy with his hands. He built things, a bit of an engineering background. Uh, Sam couldn't remember exactly what he did, but he knew that he built things, a bit of an inventor, a handyman. And so anyway, they got together, and this, this one-piece hose was bugging them, and they sat down one day, and the idea came up, why don't we see if we can't put some kind of a valve in there that we can use on scuba regulators to stop water from going into the hoses? Well, they did. They sat down, they made up diagrams and built something that didn't work, and they played around until eventually they came up with a design for the Hope Page Valve. It was actually originally called a valve. Now, it is a mouthpiece, so now it's called the Hope Page Mouthpiece, but originally it was called the Hope Page Valve. And it was very simple. You just simply cut the hoses on your two-hose regulator, the two-hose regulator that only had one hose, right? You cut cut the mouthpiece on each side of the mouthpiece and you could you could stick their valve in there put a clamp on it and inside the valve there were non-return uh, mushroom valves this is what it looked like this is one of the original hope page uh, mouthpieces or valves I'll take it apart here for you okay so this is all it was pretty very very simple let me just turn this this way so that comes off thank you kevin and there's what it looked like so you would, you would cut your hoses. The hoses were originally attached with just a mouthpiece, one piece. You would cut these off, cut the hose off, cut off the mouthpiece, and then <clears throat> this piece went in with a clamp. And on the other side, this piece went into that side with a clamp. So it's that easy, see? And then there was a fairly large mushroom valve. Here it is here. A mushroom valve. I'm going to get Kevin to zoom in on this in just one second and take a look at that, and, and then you'll see exactly how it works. And this large mushroom valve went in on this side, and this went back in place, and the smaller mushroom valve went in on this side. Can you, can you zoom in there for just a second, Kevin? Uh, this mushroom valve, so people know what I mean by a mushroom valve. It's just a plastic disc. Can you see that? Hold it, say, I'll just turn it, maybe it'll stay in focus, with a rubber disc on one side. So it's a hard plastic disc with some spokes on it. These actually are still used in, in, in uh, two hose regulars, and this plastic piece is called a wagon wheel. Can you see why? It looks like a wagon wheel. And then there's a, a rubber, a flexible rubber disc that pops in there. So this one, you can zoom back out, and it goes on this side and it faces that way, okay, so that water can't go 
into the mouth, into your mouth. When you exhale, it'll blow through the wagon wheel, and the exhale there will blow through and out the hose, but it can't go the other way. That one fits in like so. And the, and the center piece of the whole page mouthpiece goes on there. Now this one, exactly the same, a little smaller, smaller in diameter, but it's the same thing, a wagon wheel, you can see it there. Okay, Kev? A wagon wheel with a little rubber flap on it. Now this one faces the same way. It faces that way as well. Why does it face the same way? Well, think about it for a minute. When you inhale through the mouthpiece, you want to suck air down the hose. So this flap now allows you to suck it. But when you blow out, you don't blow air or water back up the hose into the regulator. All the water air goes out the other way. So you, you, that's the way you assemble it. Put that together like so. Let me get this on here properly, like so. And then give this rig a little spin. <coughs> Like that, and it goes together just that simple. It all clamps together, and there now you have non-return valves. This valve only lets air when you suck go into your mouthpiece, and this valve only goes that way when you exhale. Your exhaled air goes out through this hose into there. If any water comes down the exhaust valve, it can't get into your mouthpiece. So it was just just that simple. These sold for seven dollars and ninety-five cents. Now. $7.95, you, you would say, these, these are probably worth about $200 U.S. today as, as a vintage piece of vintage gear. Let's say $200. There were $7.95 originally. Why didn't I buy 100 of them? Well, partly because $7.95 in those days, some people worked all week for $7.95. $10 weekly wage was not uncommon. So while this was a great idea, a machine out of spun aluminum and it had a mouthpiece on it and probably came with clamps too, I'm not exactly sure, for just $7.95, it was a lot of money. So a lot of divers didn't buy these, but a lot did. And they took a lot of those uh, of their uh, two hose regulators with that one piece hose, cut the hoses and put this in. That's why there are so few of those one piece hoses around. There's no reproduction for the one piece hose. So we're, 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 we're just based essentially on originals. And as many of the originals were cut so that this non-return valve could be installed. Now after a very short period of time, the manufacturers of regulators Realizing this was such a great idea, realizing that divers wanted this, they started to make their own non-return mouthpieces. E-Z clear. E hyphen Z hyphen clear mouthpiece. That's what U.S. divers called theirs. Other companies had different ideas. Well, what happened to the whole page mouthpiece? You can see it's pretty neat. What happened to the whole page mouthpiece? Well, Healthways bought it. Healthways, big company. You may not know Healthways very well, but this old dive air regulator, made in California, different models and quite valuable. This was a very popular and quite a, quite a collector's item. This old dive air regulator is distributed by Healthways. They're a big, big company. And what happened was that Healthways as well saw the benefit of the Hope Page mouthpiece. So Healthways made their own Hope Page mouthpiece. And through some kind of an arrangement with with uh, Rory Hope and Charlie Page, they actually included the name Hope Page on it. So it's a Healthways Corporation, Hope Page, I think it says Val. And it's almost, it's the same, it's the same design, essentially. This, on, this, this end comes off <coughs> on threads, and there's your wagon wheel, where's your normal turn valve. Now, the, one of the changes that they made, which is good, is that the valves are exactly the same on both sides. So it just saved having two different size valves. Also, also the, the, let me get that back in there, the body shape is, is a little slicker because it's nice and straight across. It doesn't have that big bulge. But that is the original Hope Page mouthpiece. And then this is the version that Healthways made. They retained the name Hope Page. I don't know if Hope Page got any money for that. It may be that, that Hope Page, that, that name, the Hope Page valve or Hope Page mouthpiece, was so popular that Healthways said, let's put that name on it. People will know what it is and they'll want to buy it. And this particular Hope Page mouthpiece by Healthways is mounted on a Healthways regulator. This is one of their uh, scuba regulators. Yeah, that's right. They actually were able to use the name scuba. This regulator from Healthways was called scuba. That was his model. What model is your scuba regulator? Scuba. Uh, pretty neat. Anyway, they did a good. And that's exactly the original, exactly the way it appeared when it was sold with the uh, yellow hoses and the Healthways version of the Hope Page 
mouthpiece. So there you go. Some of you readers on uh, on uh, uh, on the scuba board, uh, that was a question. Can someone tell me about Hope Page? Well, there you go. There's a story on Hope Page. Who Hope Page was, what they did, what happened to it, uh, what it's good for, and a little piece of scuba history. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. More coming. More neat information about the history of scuba diving. Talk to you soon. Alec Pierce.